Hi guys, it's me Tiffany. I just wanted to show you some of the things that I'm doing here in the fall going into winter to prepare for next season's gardening and even to garden for this season. So something that I meant to do honestly around August or September is to plant a fall garden. But um, I'm a teacher so Honestly, that's when my life gets hectic and everything that I plan to do kind of goes to the side way, goes to the side. So um, what I ended up doing is I just threw some seeds out here to see what they would do. And you see that um, they have come up. There is spinach, collards, cabbage, and broccoli, I think, in here. Kind of lost track. I was just throwing some seeds down. And so what I have is some tomato cages and honestly those leafy vegetables except for the cabbage and can grow up through those um, tomato cages and I'm going to use that to keep the plastic that I'm going to use to keep in the heat when it gets a little bit colder um, those tomato cages will hold up that plastic so here I have a lot of volunteer potatoes. Um, when I had little bitty potatoes from my harvest, I would like throw them out like this. And apparently a big one got thrown out. But regardless, they have decided to come up. Um, I'm probably gonna end up just covering this with leaves. I don't necessarily know that I want to mess with this. I did notice <laughs> some rabbit scat. So a rabbit has been visiting right here. And unfortunately, that same rabbit, I would assume, has been visiting over here as well. So whether you know it or not, I have chickens. And um, I noticed that I had some remnants from my summer garden. I have some beets. And this right here, I don't really remember what that was. It's either like a Brussels sprout, maybe cabbage, I don't know. But regardless, my chickens keep making their way over here just to pick at this poor little plant. So, since that plant seems to be happy and seems to want to grow, um, what I ended up doing is planting this bed for my chickens. And I got a bunch of seeds and just mixed them together and spread them all around. So who knows what's in here. But um, if I can keep my chickens out of here for maybe two or three weeks, when um, it gets really cold, my chickens will have a place to come and play and eat some good food. And then the next thing that I did is I have been um, grabbing bagged leaves that I would see on the side of the road. And my beds really need more soil in them. And as you probably know, soil can get expensive. And so what I did is I got, um, this is just some type of fencing cloth. It's plastic. I got this at Lowe's. And um, then you can get, these are just stakes, or you can get things such as this. I know that doesn't show up well on the camera. But anyway, I just weave the stakes in and out of it. And um, I have two huge compost bins. I had a viewer tell me that, well, when you have leaves, you also need a balance of nitrogen. And unfortunately, a lot of things are dying right now. So I don't really have a lot of green that I can add to it. And um, the viewer told me that you could add urine to it. And I'm not so sure I'm going to do that. But I will be honest, it's a thought. But in the meantime, I do have chickens. And chickens poop a lot. And chicken poop has nitrogen in it. So um, I'm sure if I add that chicken poop there, that that will help in decomposition. So that's pretty much it, guys. That Those are some of my fall preparations for the spring and even a surprise garden in the middle of the fall as well thanks for watching bye bye